to my channel. In today's video, I did a full face using drugstore makeup for the first time in many years, to be honest. I haven't truly bought drugstore makeup in a long while due to the fact, like, when I started wearing makeup, there was only two shades, caramel and cocoa. And I didn't feel like wasting my money anymore, so I transitioned and I went in to saving my money and just purchasing high end, higher end makeup that I know will match my skin tone, match my skin tone and would look better on me. But nowadays with the drugstore leveling up their game, I had to go and see what the hype was about for myself. And I went in and I bought everything that I needed for a full face of me, full face, full face of makeup? Is that what you would say, or a full, beat <laughs> and this is the final results there's some products I didn't end up using but if you guys want to see me do more drugstore looks on my channel let me know in the comment section because I love to I love for you guys to suggest videos to me and I continue to talk your ear off let's jump right into this video hey guys let's jump into this video the first thing I've done is fill in my brows with this elf product in coffee I don't know exactly what it is because I've chucked away the box already but it just looks like this it's just a really creamy product and it went on my brows very easily a bit too slippery but nevertheless it's really amazing as well you just have to take your time and don't use a lot of product that's all then I'm gonna go in with the NYX can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation and i'm going to use this to carve out my is in deep sable that i'm going to use and i'm just going to pump a few pumps on the back of my hand going in with this morphe what's this morphe m423 it's like a flat shader brush to help me carve out my brows So now that I've carved out my brows and they look amazing to me, I am going to leave it right there. I don't have a brow setting product, but that's okay. The next thing I'm going to go in with is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and this is in number 10 Caramel. I'm going to use that all over my lids as an eyeshadow primer, because as I said, I don't have one. And I want the colors of whatever eyeshadow palette I use to kind of pop. Now I'm just going to go in because I don't have a loose setting powder, I didn't find one. I'm going in with this Matte and Poreless from Maybelline in 350 and this is in Caramel. This is what it looks like and I'm just going to take a brush and just set what I have put down into place so that don't budge. There we go. It's actually working pretty well. I don't know which palette to use. I have so much choices. I think I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette first. Let me show you what this palette looks like. This is an absolutely gorgeous palette we secure this color right here and I'm just going to go in, in there lightly oh that's a lot of fallout and just tapping off my brush and just going in my crease it's actually a beautiful transition color I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motion Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette and I'm just going to take this colour right here, it's like an orangey kind of colour, a burnt orange I would say and I'm just going to apply that also into my crease on that same brush, I'm using the same brush guys 
stopping off the excess I'm just going in oh that is a beautiful color look at that I'm actually really surprised by the pigmentation of all of all these shadows that I'm using right now I cannot explain how impressed I am really blended and everything looks perfect so I'm just going in with the M513 Morphe brush and as I said I'm going in with smooth criminal and tapping off that excess okay and I'm just applying that on my outer V and just kind of dragging it in on my crease Start slow with a dark colour and build it up. I'll never tell someone to rush in with a dark colour because that's where everything, and I mean everything, can go wrong in a makeup look. Tapping off, tapping off that excess and going back in again. And this time I'm bringing it up a little higher. And then a little circle in motion. Oh, that actually looks pretty nice. This has so much fallout. That's okay. That's why I do my eyes first because I would hate to have done my face makeup and then have all of this fallout. I would have been pissed off. Honestly, I would. Especially, I don't have any translucent powder, so. Now I'm just going to go back in with this GH32 brush and I'm just blending, making sure there's no harsh lines or anything. Just blend. I said blending is key in all makeup look I'm gonna go in with coin this shade right here hope you guys can see it and I'm just gonna apply that to my lid With this shade, what you have to do is kind of stamp it onto your lid. You can't just swipe it. It will just take a little while, but and you should pick up the full pigmentation of that cup. It's a beautiful look. Is that the eyeshadows are quite hard to pick up from those two. They're very hard to pick up and there's a lot of fallout like sparkles going everywhere now i'm gonna go in with and i'm going in with this shade right here and see if that will kind of deepen up my crease area there we go that is exactly what this look needed now i've cleaned up all of that fallout that happened underneath my eyes now i'm going to go with start with my face makeup the first thing i'm going to start off with is this nyx uh, honeydew honey do me up <laughs> that's actually cute honey do me up uh primer the lady that works there told me that this is amazing for dry skin they've got so much like affordable face primers so if you're looking for a good primer you should check them out that comes with this weird kind of applicator i really like stuff like this but let's give it a try i'm just gonna feels like very sticky that's how it feels to me it's weird it's different yeah let's just rub that into my skin it does feel hydrating it's starting to get a little tacky which is really good so you know your foundation will stick and then as i said i'm going in with the nyx can't stop won't stop full coverage concealer and this is in deep sable and i'm gonna go in with my morphe sponge i'm gonna try it first time trying this morphe sponge what is the exact name this is the Morphe Contour and Highlighting Sponge, but I'm going to use it for whatever I want. Before I go in to that, I'm going in with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in Cappuccino. 
just looks like this and I'm just going to apply that to all my dark areas you know what I do guys I take concealer apply that to my dark areas to cancel out the darkness so much better let's hope this is my correct shade no it's not it's actually quite dark but it's okay it will work Okay, so I'm just going in, squeezing out all the water from this sponge and I'm just going to go in and start blending with underneath my eye to cancel the darkness. Okay, our concealer is not so bad once it's blended out, it's not too dark. Look, it took away the darkness that I had underneath my eye, my dark circles foundation and apply that all over my skin i've gone in with three pumps so far just stamping that on the i'm just going in and put that into my skin hmm okay actually like this well i actually like this sponge i was not expect i like the i don't know if you could see the design of this sponge i also like how it is because it's flat there so you can really get in the crevice and corners of your face which is just amazing this foundation looks really nice so this is how the foundation looks it looks really amazing um it matches me perfectly i don't know if you guys can see that on camera but it really matches me perfectly the only thing i don't like about this foundation is the scent i don't know what that scent is but i don't like it at all now i'm going to go in with the adri wine concealer and also the elf concealers and i'm going to use the same sponge just to blend everything out in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless setting powder and I'm just going to set my under eye everywhere that I've highlighted. I'm just going to go in with a, e, a Morphe E48 brush and I'm just going to press that into my skin. Press then pour. in with the no filter powder from the no filter finishing powder from nyx i hope this is my shade it looks like my shade i'm just going to take a huge powder brush and just swirl that in and just apply it all over my skin this powder kind of gives you a kind of a like a highlight all over your skin I don't know if you guys can see that like a little glow this one is made for people with dry skin but there's also others that's formulated for people with oily skin so well i guess oily skin can use it as well my skin just looks so airbrush i like this powder this is one of my favorite things before i move on because my face is actually feeling a little dry and i don't like that feeling at all going in with the morphe continuously setting spa, uh, setting spray setting mist it feels like there's nothing in there but it's actually there's stuff in there the nip and fab contour kit and i'm going to use these two shades right here mix them together to get my perfect like contour just contour my skin my skin just looks so illuminated it's so beautiful i think it's that no filter powder um from nyx that have my skin looking so gorgeous apply some blush i'm going to use my blush blush by three it is in pumpkin this kind of pink right here 
This is pea pie. I'm just gonna just a light. Just to tone that down, I'm just gonna take that fluffy brush that I used for the powder and just go over it. Since I've done that now, I'm going to go back in with that Morphe spray. And now moving back to the eyes, I'm gonna go in flat shader brush and just work on my bottom lash line. I think I'm gonna go in with Going back in with Secure, this one right here. I think I use Smooth Criminal. <laughs> I went in with Smooth Criminal instead of Secure. I'm going to use Secure now to blend everything out. My bad. Now I'm just gonna go in with a Morphe E17 brush and go in with actual Secure. And just blend that out. That looks amazing. Now I'm gonna go in with my Inglot number 77 gel liner. It is affordable. I think this is like 11 to 12, either 11 or 13 pounds. So this does fall in the category of drugstore makeup. So I'm just gonna go and apply some liner. I'm not doing a wing liner, just to my inner, my inner waterline. Okay, now I've applied that gel liner to my eyes, I'm just gonna go in. I'm going to apply this on my brow bone. I'm like, okay. It's not as booming as I would like. It's very, meh. Nah. If I'm honest, it's very bland. There's nothing to it. Not really popping. So I'm gonna go in Nip and Fab highlighters and I'm going to use Sun Kiss and Sun Kiss and Selfie. I'm mixing those two together to kind of get the perfect shade that I would like. Uh, that's doing something. That's it. That's making a difference. There we go. Mixing those two together makes such a difference. Now I feel like there's something. now, And I'm just gonna go and just blend all of that together. Now I'm going in with Maybelline's The Colossal Big Shot Mascara and just apply that to my lashes. This mascara actually gives me a lot of volume to my lashes. This reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, in my opinion. Ardell Double Wispy Lashes, one of my favorite lashes from the drugstore. Going to apply that off camera, come back, and then finish up the rest of my face. So, now I've applied the lashes, and this look is gorgeous. When you're in doubt, put on lashes, it just put everything together I don't know how but it look at this look it looks fire the <laughs> lashes just does something it just brings the drama the dramatic the I don't know just brings the looks together so now I'm just gonna go in with some lip. so I picked up two lip pencils from NYX um, one is in sweet tooth and the other one is in Lolita Ooh. and then I've picked up a nude lipstick and this is in Sandstorm and this red is in Red Velvet so I think I'm gonna go with Red Velvet and let's do what's this one called Lolita so I'm going in with Lolita lip pencil to outline my lip just warm that up on the back of your hand Then I'm going in with Red Velvet. Yeah. 
This is really bright. I didn't expect it to be this bright, but hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna tone it down a little bit because this is a bit too much for me. So I'm gonna go in with, now I'm going in with Maybelline's Naked Brown lipstick and I'm just gonna So that looks so much better toned down. It was just too bright for this look because this look already have such a dramatic eye. You don't want to overpower with a bright lip, then you just look like clown. So I don't want to look like a clown. So we had to tone that down. Now I'm going back in with the NYX powder. Now I'm, now I'm going back in with NYX no filter powder and I'm just going in with my large brush and I'm just going to tone down this blush a little bit more so I find that it's so overpowering I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial of me only using affordable and drugstore makeup to achieve this look that we have here this gorgeous look I hope that you guys really enjoy this video this is the first time I've ever done a video like this on my channel Tell me what you think in the comment section if I should do more looks using drugstore makeup. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. I always reply and I love to get to know you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.